Hello friends, uh, welcome again and this is Money Project Online Billing System and I have developed this project in Python, Django and MySQL. The version for the Python I'm using is the Python version 3.7 and Django version is 2 and MySQL version is 5.6. For connecting MySQL with Python, I'm using the MySQL connector, MySQL Django connector, which you will get easily from the MySQL.org website. Even you can install the MySQL Django connector using the pip, right? So this all server side technology I have used for developing this project. This is a web application. So for front end development, I'm using the HTML, CSS and JavaScript. Some of the jQuery library also have used like form validations and all. I have used the jQuery plugins, right? So these all technologies I have used for developing this project online billing system. And uh, it's a mini project, mini DBMS project developing Python, Django and MySQL, right? So let's start with the functionality go through. So this is the home page of the project. You can see this is a home page, simple home page developed in HTML. This is the about project. It's about the project. This, this is also a static page. There is nothing dynamic on it. This is the contact us. It's a static form and I'm not saving the value of this contact us from anywhere into the database. Even I'm not sending a type of email and SMS from this page. This is a login from where admin will be able to log in right and if you don't have the user id and password then you will not be logging inside the system right so the user id is admin and the password is test so once you log inside the system you will get the dashboard this is the dashboard and you can perform these operations so let me go through one by one this is a product management add product so one more thing the same menu is available here also in the header bar right so this is the home already explained you dashboard i already explained you this is the add a product Add product from here, you will be able to add the products, right? You can add any number of products here, right? <coughs> right. So you can add add any number of products from add product section. This is the product details, right? So all of the products which you have added will be displayed here. So you can see there are eight products which we have added. You can edit the product from here, right? And you can delete it also, right? This is add product and this is a product details, product management mode. This is add sales. Right. This is a sales dashboard from where customer will be able to start the sales, right? So, uh, sorry, admin will be able to start the sales, right? So here you need to enter the customer name first and the customer contact number. Once you start the ad, then you will get the sales dashboard here. From here, you need to select the product and those product will be added into the cart automatically, <laughs> right? You can see the products are getting added into the cart automatically, right? So even costs are getting calculated according to the product price, which you have added in the product form. If you want to delete any of the product, just click on the delete and that product will be deleted from the cart, right? If you add more products, just click on add, right? So once uh, the product items are completed, you can click on the save order. Once you click on the save order, then all of the products details means the order details will be saved into the database and you can access it later also right so this is add sales i already explained you from here you will be able to start the sales this is sales details right from here you will get all of the previous sales details right previous sales details means once you click on the view order you will be able to see all of the sales items which you have made right sales details this is our last sales details you can see the 806 rupees and this sales details are coming from the database Right. This is a change password from where you will be able to update your account password. And after the account password, you will be able to log in with your updated password. This is a logout. Once you log out, then the above header menu will not be displayed, right? Because it's a session driven. So log out and you can see the above header menu is not displaying. If you log in, then above header menu is displaying, right? So these all functionalities I have developed inside this project online billing system. And I, as I told you earlier, this project has been developed in python django and mysql and it's a mini dbms project right so if you need more functionality in this project just put it into the comment i will incorporate those changes i will make this project more better and better according to your requirements and don't forget to subscribe our channel for getting the latest project videos on the latest causes thanks for watching the video thank you very much